love doing food tours in every country that we go to, but we've already done one in Finland, so today's gonna be a little bit different. Is today the day that we finally try reindeer? I think it is. I just hate eating them because they're so cute and it's really expensive. But I have heard that reindeer is really good, so I am excited to try it. I'm just a little bit nervous too. I know it may seem like we're going out to get all this stuff for dinner, but this is actually our lunch. It's just really dark outside because it's winter. Here's the little tiny gas station, and we have the convenience store. I don't know what this is, but it looks really good, so. I've never seen it in the United States. Ooh, this looks good. So we're pretty sure that this is that, the 165, and then this is that one for 110. Okay, before anyone corrects us in the comment section, we just found out that that one is from Finland and that one is from France. Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be so good. So that one looks like it's gonna be very sweet and sugary. Mm. That is the one from Finland. The other one's oh from France. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh. Well, now I want a bite. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I could literally eat like 10 of those. It's like really crispy sugar on the outside and there's some like jelly in the middle. I want another bite. We're oh, gonna be yeah. fighting over this one. That was my first bite of the jelly. Oh, it's so good. That one's from France, so. The middle fell out. Come on, France, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's really good. Wow, the pastry section at finished stores, that's the move. We tried these last year and we were not fans, but we were told that we needed to like heat them up. We don't have the option, so probably not gonna try those again. It's like it's cheese porridge on like bread. It's probably good if you do it right. They also have, I think they're called coaties. Like they're little cups that they make out of the wood that like the traditional people here would make. These ones obviously are not like traditional, but they still look cute. Getting some Finnish chocolate for dessert. I'm looking forward to it. It's, yeah, it's chocolate. It's gotta be good. How could it be bad? We got the holiday flavor, by the way. Oh, oh there's something in it. Really? Yeah. Oh, like there's like Nuts something crunchy, something. yeah. Woo! Oh. It's very crunchy inside. I love when it's crunchy. Kind of tastes like what are those things? Crunch bars. In the United States. I like it. I like it better than just like boring chocolate. Yeah, but I wonder if the original has something crunchy in it. Really, really good chocolate. I know that this is normal in places that are not the United States, but it is so strange to me to see eggs not refrigerated. So weird. You would never see that in the United States. Unless maybe you were at like an organic stand or something. Of course, there is tons and tons of salmon and fish here. And if we had a grill or even like a microwave, I would totally get these. We have found the Finnish mustard section and it is amazing. I'm gonna get the big one. <laughs> we have a lot of tuna that we have left over from our past accommodations. So I'm gonna use this. That might sound weird, but it tastes good. I don't wanna just like squirt it in my mouth. Although that would taste amazing because I already know I love this mustard. I'm gonna put it on the tuna that we bought. And look, this might be extremely weird. It might be completely different than what people usually eat, but I actually did try this with some mustard and it it tasted pretty good. So I'm gonna do it again. Okay, now we have the tuna. Like we went with the green one. I think there was like uh, maybe olive oil in it too. So you just drain it. So now I'm gonna try it without the mustard. If you're thinking that mustard and tuna is weird, I'm with you, but I trust Jacob. So I'm gonna try a little bit. I think okay. it'll be good with the Finnish mustard because Finnish mustard's good on anything. Do you wanna try some without the mustard? No. No? I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Finnish mustard. Cracking it open. I would definitely just eat this. It just tastes like normal tuna. I would just eat it for to get my protein in. Okay, oh, I love the smell. I know, it's so good. Why is it so, it is so much better than just regular yellow mustard. So much better. You'd find in the United States. So here, you can take the first bite. Oh my gosh. That's really good. Mustard and tuna. That is so good, I want another bite. Oh my gosh, we could totally put this on bread and it would be so good. 
Like the mustard, the tuna, yeah. and the bread. Yeah. Oh, I'm into it. Good job. Not sure if these are finished, but salt and vinegar chips sound really good right now. These are just chips, but there's a Finland flag on it. And we've been loving this brand ever since we've come here, so we're getting them. I think they're like barbecue. We're not gonna spend too much time on them just because, I mean, they're just regular chips, but from Finland. They're good. Okay, but now that we know this is a Finnish brand, you have to get this brand when you're in Finland because this is at least our third bag of chips that we've got <laughs> from this brand. And they've all just been, had a really good texture, really oh, good crunch. The, the pepper and sour cream ones are like waffle. Oh, they're so, so, so good. Mm -hmm. These ones are also good. They're like barbecue, but a little bit milder and not as sweet, which I really like. I don't know if these bottles of water are sparkling or still, but if you're drinking still water, there's definitely no reason to buy water bottles in Finland because the water is so good from the tap. Also, there is bottles of Coca-Cola over there and nobody should ever be drinking that. Oh, I'm gonna be drinking that tonight. All right, I'm gonna try this Finnish cider. It's in the grocery store, so it's low in alcohol, but it looks pretty tasty. I'm actually really excited for this. There was like a ton of ciders. I went with the strawberry and lime one. Try it, it's so good. Are we just discovering so many good foods right now? Wow. Oh, Isn't yeah. Isn't that good? I mean, it doesn't- It doesn't taste like- It doesn't taste like it. there's alcohol in here. It tastes like a White Claw. But like- I mean, it is really low. It only has like 4%. So a White Claw is like a, a seltzer, but then this one, this one's definitely a cider. Yeah. It was pretty expensive, but I mean, like I'm a fan of it. Yeah, it's really good. I like the strawberry. You can really taste the strawberry. Sweet. Oh wait, it's a Swedish. Oh no. It's a Swedish apple cider with a taste of strawberry and lime. No. <laughs> Uh, Wait, but it had a Finland flag on it. Did we it? looked it up and it said it was from Finland. Wait, it says it. There's a Finland website here. Oh. Hold that. Maybe it, it was shows Copperberg. Dot, dot, fi. dot Finland. Please let us know if this is Swedish or Finnish. Either way, we really yeah. like it. Okay. Stop being romantic with the Coca-Cola. <laughs> I'm so excited. I've been craving Coke so badly these past few days. I have no idea what this is. It must be yogurt because it's in the yogurt section. Maybe we could get some of this Icelandic yogurt. I appreciate that these companies make it easy to find which ones are the finished foods. Flag, flag, flag. Here's the brand that has all of the chocolates. There's some more down here. I feel like we should get some of this because I think these are pretty famous in Finland. I was just telling Jacob how I wish that they had reindeer, um, like beef jerky, and they have little reindeer chips that are like jerky. So I guess we're gonna try these ones, checking off our reindeer. All right, should well, we okay. do it at the same time? I think we definitely should, but like- I Oh, was, it just smells like beef jerky. I was thinking reindeer was gonna be like really expensive because the only thing that I saw of reindeer was like these really huge cans and they were like 20 euros for one can, and I really was hoping we didn't have to spend 20. This one was five, still very expensive. They're like little tiny oh, pieces. Oh wow, they are teeny. Oh my gosh, they're so small. So that's just like what it normally looks like. Like that That's the entire chip. Oh my gosh, okay. Ready, set, go. It's very chewy. Definitely chewy. So we smelled it and we we're like, Kind of smells like beef jerky. I feel like I need to eat like three at a time. I know, me too. I need two. I mean, yeah, it tastes like beef jerky. But it... Just like a little different. Tastes more like a sausage than yeah. beef does. But it's just chewier. That's like the main note. Okay, wait, but I have a question. If you're from Finland, do you actually eat like reindeer a lot? Or is that just like a thing that they tell tourists? Like, <laughs> do you eat reindeer burgers? Do you eat reindeer sausages? Like, oh wow, that was a lot. Or is it just like, no, we eat beef and chicken like every other place. Not every other place, but. I definitely like it, but I just think it's far too expensive. Yeah, to for be these like little dots. actually going 
I'm like getting these all the time. And you could get a whole thing of beef jerky that was huge with way bigger pieces of meat than this for like half the price. We're in the chocolate and candy aisle. We found two things that we really need to buy. Wait, I don't know if I want this. It, this means panther. Uh, so there's this, and then there's also this. I feel like we should get this one. I think this is just the black licorice, the ones that we're not big fans of, but these are all the colorful ones. It's more expensive, but I think it'll taste better. I read that like you should have the sweets and the one with black licorice, but I don't see any black licorice on the outside here, and I just opened them, and I think we got lucky because there's no black licorice in there. <laughs> We're not big black licorice people. Oh, they're tinier than I expected. What color did you get? I think I got that same color. Okay, I'm gonna the try, orange one. I'm gonna try green. Oh no. Oh, I like it. <laughs> got stuck to my teeth. They're not as chewy as I thought they'd be. They're like kind of hard. Not hard, but like yeah. not really chewy. Now they're just getting chewier. Kind of just getting stuck on my teeth, but it doesn't mean I don't like it. I have to try all the flavors first. I like them. So I find a munch on. Can you taste different flavors? Mm hmm. I think I like the yellow one better than the orange one so far. Oh, I like the red one. Yellow is still my favorite. Hmm. If that's controversial, let us know in the comments. <laughs> a lot of uh, like yellow candy is not really liked that much in the United States. Yeah. Heard that these uh, are okay and. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I hope it's chocolate. We don't know what it exactly is. Like, Doomwe? <laughs> I think it's chocolate or licorice. We're hoping it's chocolate. It might be chocolate and licorice. Oh, it might be like kind of like a Tootsie Roll. You take the first bite. Okay. Oh, it kind of tastes like caramel coffee. Hmm. It kind of tastes like a little bit. A Starbucks caramel macchiato. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that doesn't taste bad, but it. I it's also like, don't like it. <laughs> it's like jelly. Take another bite. It's okay. I'll t yeah, I'll take another bite. What's in the middle? I don't know. I wish we could read finish and like <laughs> find out. I love the little finished flags on everything. I mm. think that's so cute. And of course we got some glogi from the alcohol section. There's just nothing like warm glogi. So mm. it's like mulled wine. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. This one's a little bit like spicier than most. That's actually like before I took the drink and it actually the liquid went in my mouth, mm -hmm. I like inhaled and I got the spices in my nose. Yeah. And I was like, oh wow. This one's spicier. It's definitely got a kick to it. Would... Like a spice kick. Yeah. I like it. I really like it. We got the Pookie Gloogie. Pookie Gloogie. I want to know what your favorite one was. My favorite one? What is, like of all the It's food. the finished mustard. Oh, My favorite yeah. is the finished mustard. The finished mustard's so good. Mine might be the pastry. The finished pastry with all the sugar on it. And that, that was, was only, so good. That was only like, uh, like a euro and a half. All right, let's go back and get like 10 more. <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next time.